<laughs> oh man oh man oh man listen what did i tell y'all so dana white he was sitting there bragging last night talking about yeah man uh i got the one guy he cut down his illegal stream and uh you know he told people to go buy it on pay-per-view and you know he's talking about yeah yeah buddy that was a good move on your part buddy oh that was a good move and i sat back and i started laughing i said man dana white is an idiot okay dana for that one guy who, who didn't put his stream up, there were like 50 more. <laughs> I mean, there were so many illegal streams last night. Hell, you can just pick one. Okay, pick an illegal stream. Now, I'm not going to tell you what I did. I mean, I, I, I surely didn't because I actually, there were so many women's MMA fighters on the card that I couldn't justify streaming it illegally because this is a women's MMA channel. And I know that if I illegally stream with that many women on the card, I'm negatively affecting, okay, women's MMA. So, you know, yeah, I sucked it up. I sucked it up, paid, okay, it is what it is, okay? I did that. Um, this is the thing, man. This is the thing, okay? Dana White, you're never going to stop these illegal streamers. They're, they're going to just, it's just going to be more. The guy that you shut down, guess what he going to do? He going to make up a whole other streaming site. He's going to make up a whole nother one, and he's just going to become more anonymous and make his money. You know streaming is a multi-billion dollar uh, industry? Illegal streamers make that. It's a multi-billion dollar industry. Okay? And you have to understand, these guys, they're making money. A lot of people are making a lot of money on it. But do you know how Dana White, with his dumb ass, do you know how he could, he could actually cut, take a dent and cut into illegal streaming? And it's something so simple. You would think that Dana White, being a businessman, you would think that he have this kind of common sense, but Dana White lacks this. You lower the pay-per-view prices. That's what you do. You lower the pay-per-view prices. Okay, I'm gonna use the analogy of ESPN Plus, right? ESPN Plus is $5 a month. People are gonna pay that instead of trying to illegally stream. Okay, and I've already done my research on this. Do you know when they're doing those fight nights and that kind of stuff, and you pay $5 on ESPN Plus, do you know people, they pay for that, and those illegal streams, they don't have a lot of volume and traffic during those fight nights? And you have to pay for fight night, but fight nights are $5. So guess what? People are going to be more apt to pay that. People don't mind, you know, getting an ESPN Plus subscription. I, I mean, I got one. People do not mind getting that subscription. They don't care because it's only 5 bucks. Okay, people, the average person can afford $5. Okay, let's take it to pay-per-views, right? Pay-per-views, you're going to pay about $70 a clip. Okay, here's the thing, man. People, they're not going to be, you know, very conscious. Oh, they're not going to be anxious to pay $70. When they can just go over here, you know, deal with a little bit of buffering, and they'll go streaming for free. Dana, you can't get rid of illegal streaming. It's, it's not going anywhere. Okay, these people, they're going to come up with different ways. They're just going to become more anonymous. But you know what you do. Illegal streaming... A lot of the streams are not that great, okay? A lot, and you have to look at advertisements all over the streams in some cases, and you know, it's just some of the streams are not great. So here's what you do. You lower your pay-per-view prices, 15 or $20. You know what people will do? They'll pay for that. And see, when you think about it, that will make up the shortfall of the illegal streamers. That'll make up the shortfall. You will get those people. Those people will start paying for the fight. And you'll actually end up making more money on the fight. you actually end up making more because you're bringing all these people that's illegally streaming a fight over to your platform. Because, you know, honestly, I mean, I've tried. I'm not going to sit here and say I've never tried to stream before. I have. Okay, I have. I've tried it before. It's not a pleasant experience. Because, number one, you got to find a stream where you don't have, you're not blasted with 20 ads. And with those 20 ads, some of those ads are downloading stuff into your computer. Okay? Like, you, you have to find an illegal stream that's going to work. Okay? And, and, and you have to find all of them are not the same. Okay? I mean, you, you're you going to have to search to a whole bunch of them. People just don't want to do that. I particularly don't like streams. I just don't like them. Okay? It's just so much hassle to deal with the stream. I mean, I'd rather not deal with the illegal stream. I'd rather just, you know, go ahead and pay the price. But I'm saying Dana White... Even if the man dropped the, the rates to 20 bucks, you can take half of those illegal streamers 
and they'll be paying for fights. I mean, illegal streaming is a multi, it's a billion dollar industry. OK, people make money on streams. Lots of money. Could you imagine if Dana White can take some of those multi billions, even take half of that and divert it back to the UFC? Because let's think about it. You ain't getting the money anyway. You ain't getting the money anyway. And that's the thing. You're not getting the money anyway. So wouldn't it be nice to take some of those 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 people, those millions of people, have them pay. OK, have them come over and pay. But, you know, not $70 because they're not going to do that. Maybe $20, $15. Could you imagine the amount of money that the fights would make? He would recover a lot of money. And you have more fans willing. And so then, if there's a price increase, do you know that more of those fans will stick around? Guys, it's called just simple business. It's just business. You give people something for damn near nothing. You hook them. It's like a drug. You hook them in on it. And then when you got to go up in price... People are not going to be so they're not going to be so resentful of the price change. They're not going to resent it because they love the product. And let's just get let's not get it twisted. The UFC is a good product. OK, it is. It's a great product. They put on good fights, good shows. I, I can't even lie about that because I'm a fan. I'm watching. But the 70 dollars is a bit much, man, during a pandemic. OK, you got to actually think, man, people are going to remember this. People are going to remember this. And when things get back to normal, or when things get back to some amount of decency, you know, you got to admit Dana White will probably lose a lot of fans. They're going to lose fans, and then these are going to be paying people. That's the thing, man. Pay-per-views are too expensive. They're too expensive. You know, now I can see, you know, maybe, you know, if you want to charge more in the gate, okay, fine. But for people that just want to stay home and watch, you know, come on, man, come on. $70 was ridiculous, and it's still ridiculous. And... Of course, you're going to have people illegally streaming the fights because if people can't illegally stream the fights, then guess what? You're not going to going to watch no way. Or you know what they'll do? They'll just wait the day after. They'll just wait the next day and they'll see it for free because somebody's going to post it. See, I think Dana White need to get to the point where, OK, as long as they watch it. As long as they watch it, you got to get the eyes on there, but you got to lower those prices. You got to lower the prices. So some of those billions of dollars will come back over there to the UFC. I mean, it's, 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 re it's really simple, man. I've done it before in my own business. I see a couple of other gyms doing the same thing I'm doing. And I know that, you know, hey, I can I cut my price down a little bit. I can get some of the people to come over. And some of those people come over, I get a better quality. They get they get more than what because I know my I know my product is good. I know my product is good. So when I understand how good my product actually is and people come to my gym and they know my product is good, guess what? Then when I have a price increase, they're going to stay because they're getting the best. That's business. But I don't know. I guess I don't think that Dana White really truly understands business as much as he say he does. Because if he keeps on charging 70 bucks a pay-per-view, he keep doing that and then, you know, trying to stop illegal streaming, you're going to fail. Just going to be frustrated. Okay, you didn't stop that guy. That guy just played ball. That guy, he's going to come up with a whole nother game plan. He's going to think of a whole nother game plan. He's going to come up with a whole nother website, and it's going to be an underground website. You know how many underground illegal streams that are out there? I could tell Dana White a bunch of them, but Dana White going to have to pay me $3 million, man. That's the only way I would tell him where these sites are at. I know how to get to them, but, you know, I'm, I'm not going to sit up here. I don't, I don't really care to use them. I'll just put it like that. Okay? It's not the best quality. You know, streaming does nothing for me. And I don't want to sit there continually clicking off the ads. Me, personally, I can't do that for a whole fight. I can't do it. Okay? If Dana paid me $3 million, I'll tell him where every last one of them are at. That's it, but he had to pay me. And it's got to be $3 million after taxes. Okay? That's the only way I would give up all these things. Yeah, I'll snitch. I'll snitch on every last illegal stream. I will snitch. I'll tell it. It ain't coming for cheap. Now, I done told Dana, I done gave Dana some free game. I done told him how to cut into the profits. But, you know, if you want me to tell you where these streaming sites at, no, nah, I, nah, I ain't telling you nothing. And I'm not talking about the ones that you can see. I'm talking about the ones that you can't see, the invisible ones. You see, I've been privy into that arena to actually know what these, I've been privy into that arena to know where these sites at. The underground. And I'll never tell because, well, I, I do it for a price. <laughs> I do it for a price, but I ain't going to tell. The thing of it is, man, look, look, 
people right now, they need money. And I know Dana need money, but Dana's not being very smart about this. He's not being very smart because the illegal streamers are the doorway to actually making your profits go higher. You can't stop them. You have to beat them at their own game.